Hello, and welcome to Let's Play The Secret of Monkey Island. My name is Danny, and this, my friends, is one of the best adventure games ever made. This is the PC version of Monkey Island, um, with a little twist, I should mention. I uh, modded this game to include something very special. And uh, hopefully, I haven't actually mentioned it in the title of this video. <laughs> um, but you will see pretty soon what the uh, little twist actually is. Right now, though, I want to mention as well that uh, this is going to be a very laid back and uh, relaxing LP. I think we need that after all the horror games I've been uh, LPing lately. So, are you ready? Let's go! Hi! My name's Guybrush Threepwood and I want to be a pirate. Yikes! Don't sneak up on me like that! Um, I'm over this way. Well then, Thriftweed. Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. I see. So, you want to be a pirate, eh? You look more like a flooring inspector. But if you're serious about pirating, go talk to the pirate leaders. You'll find them in the scum bar. Gosh, thanks. I'll do that. Bye now. I'm off to seek my fortune. Good luck! Um, where did you say those pirate leaders were? The Scum Bar. Right. Thanks! Yeah! This game has voice acting! How about that? Yeah, I actually modded this game into the uh, Ultimate Ultimate Talkie Edition. And um, it works really well. Uh, LucasArts made uh, the uh, revamped, remade uh, version of uh, Monkey Island with uh, new graphics and voice acting. and. Uh, there were a few people that wanted to uh, play the old game with the new voice acting. Fast forward and here it is. Re-elect Governor Marley. When there's only one candidate, there's only one choice. And it works really well. Really fits nicely. And I love this graphics, the area. Even though the uh, version I played back in the day, uh, the Amiga version, wasn't as sophisticated with the buttons and uh, the items here. Uh, this game is really beautiful, even to this day. But hey, here's the scum bar. Oh, there we go. Well... There is a few people we can uh, talk to here. I don't think it's wise to wake a sleeping pirate. <laughs> and that's not one of them. Here's one, though. Ahoy there, stranger! New in town? Uh, yeah. My name's Guybrush Threepwood. I'm new in town. Guybrush Threepwood? <laughs> That's the stupidest name I've ever heard. Well, I don't know. I kind of like Guybrush. But it's not even a name. <laughs> well, what's your name? My name is Mancomb Seepgood. So, what brings you to Melee Island, anyway? Oh, that sense of humor. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I've come seeking my fortune. Oh, you have, have you? You should go talk to the important-looking pirates in the next room. 
They're pretty much in charge around here. They can tell you where to go and what to do. Where can I find the governor? Governor Marley. Her mansion is on the other side of town. But pirates aren't as welcome around her place as they used to be. Why not? Well, the last time she had a pirate over for dinner, he fell in love with her. It's made things rather uncomfortable for everybody. How's that? Well, there's a whole big story about what happened next, but I don't believe a word of it. Esteban over there at the other table might tell you about it. He takes the whole thing seriously. Very seriously. Uh-oh, looks like my grog is going flat, so you'll have to excuse me. Nice talking to you. Have fun on Melee Island. I will, thank you. Well, let's talk to this guy then. What are you looking at me for? Oh man, I remember when I uh, saw this guy for the first time. That eye really scared me. <laughs> well, at least um, until I, we actually talked to him. Who is this pirate that's bugging the governor? Lechuk. He's the guy that went to the governor's for dinner and never wanted to leave. He fell for her in a big way, but she told him to drop dead. So he did, and then things really got ugly. Wow, that's... that's commitment to, uh, love. How did things get ugly? LeChuck was a fearsome pirate. He tried to impress the governor by sailing off to find the secret of Monkey Island. But a mysterious storm came up and sank his ship, leaving no survivors. We thought that that was the end of the fearsome pirate, Lechuk. We were wrong. What happened then? He still sails the waters between here and Monkey Island. His ghost ship is an unholy terror upon the sea. That is why we are all in here and not out pirating. I'd like to introduce myself. My name's Guybrush. Yeah? So what? <laughs> well, you know, uh... Excuse me, but I'm looking for the dartboard. Dartboard? We don't have one anymore. There was a horrible accident. Drinking and darts don't mix. Now that is actually really interesting. Why are there dartboards at places where you can get drunk? But yeah, here is the uh, question. <laughs> what happened to your eye? Well, I was putting in my contact lens when... Hey, wait a second. That is none of your business. <laughs> well, after I uh, read that back in the day, I wasn't scared of him anymore. Sorry to bother you. Bye. Bye. Right. <laughs> then, of course, everyone's favorite, the dog. Go and look at him. Uh. Woof. 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 same thing this part said and then there are these guys important looking pirates what be ye wanting boy I mean to kill you all I get lost boy you bother us <laughs> yeah that's the wrong answer what be ye wanting boy 
And of course, if you uh, choose this one, you get the same answer. So we want to be a pirate. I want to be a pirate. So what? Why bother us? Hey, don't forget we're short on help because of this whole chuck thing. So, so no pirates means no swag, and no swag means no grog, and we're getting dangerously low on grog. Hmm. Do you have any <gasps> special skills? I can hold my breath for ten minutes. Well... All right, but you don't become a pirate just by asking. You'll have to go through the three trials. Uh, what three trials are those? There are three trials every pirate must pass. You must master the sword and the art of thievery and the quest. The what? Treasure hunting, you sea urchin. Right! You must prove yourself in each of these three areas. Swordplay, thievery, and the uh, uh, treasure huntery. Then return with proof that you've done it. And then you must drink grog with us. Grog! <laughs> that sounds nice. Uh, yeah. Speaking of grog... What's in that grog stuff anyway? Grog is a secret mixture which contains one or more of the following. Kerosene, propylene glycol, artificial sweeteners, sulfuric acid, rum, acetone, red dye number two, scum, axle grease, battery acid, and or pepperoni. As you can probably imagine, it's one of the most caustic, volatile substances known to man. Arr. The stuff eats right through these mugs, and the cook is losing a fortune replacing them. <laughs> that is a clue, and something we need to remember until, well, much later in the game, but still. You're a bunch of foul-smelling, grog-swilling pigs. To be a pirate, you must also be a foul-smelling, grog-swilling pig. Oh my god, I get kind of nervous when the music stopped. <laughs> okay. I'll just be running along now. Leave yeah. us to our grog. Come back later and tell us how you're doing. Well... Now we know what to do. Um, we want to get in here, though. But there's a problem. Hey! You can't come back here! Yeah. So let's go and uh, look at the fireplace for a minute. Cozy. Yeah. Oh, there he comes. And in we go! Okay. There's a barrel. I think it's full of that foul stuff pirates drink. Yeah. Ooh, meat! We want that, and we want the pot. What's this? It's boiling hot. Uh, okay. Bird! I think it's a herring. I think that bird will peck my hand off. Ah, but there's a trick. So yeah, you have to walk on that and quickly pick it up. Now he's pissed. Ah! No fish for you, birdie. And with that... Leave Scumbar for now. Meanwhile, deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck ship lies anchored in a river of lava. Captain, 
Captain LeChuck, sir. I... Ah, there's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. No, sir. Nothing like it. Ah, <laughs> uh, sir. I... It's days like this that make you glad to be dead. Oh, yes, sir. Glad to be dead. <laughs> We are glad to be dead, right? Oh, yes, sir. I, I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship that murdered me and everyone on board. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Lucky. Glad to hear it. Now, what was it you disturbed me for? Uh, y yes, sir. Well, you see, we might have a problem on Melee Island. Problem? What possible problem could there be? I've got those sissy pirates so scared of the sea, they're afraid to take a bath. Well, there seems to be a new pirate in town. Actually, he's a pirate wannabe. Young, inexperienced, probably nothing to worry about. Don't know why I bothered you with it. <laughs> I'll have him taken care of myself. Wait! I'll handle this personally. My plans are too important to be messed up by amateurs. Yes, sir. Hmm. That's kind of worrying. But now when we got the pot, we need to leave this area. And get some funds. Because we can't be a pirate without stuff like sword. Yeah, pretty much. Stuff like that. Oh, and a shovel. If you want to find treasure, we need, actually need to uh, dig it up. Luckily, there is a circus in town. I get in the cannon, but the gunpowder makes me sneeze. Well, I can't do it. I hurt my hand taming the lions last week. I hardly think that little scratch compares to my chronic allergy. You get in the cannon. You don't have any allergies, you faker. You get in the cannon. No, you get in the cannon. No, you get in the cannon. Slacker. Loser. Raffian. Flop. Weasel. Weevil. Miscreant! Tony! Does this place have a bathroom? Say there, son, how do you like the chance? A once in a lifetime chance. To perform an amazing feat. A death defying feat. Well, not so death defying, really. Uh, dangerous feat. No, not dangerous at all. An easy feat. But exciting. With the amazing. Adventurous. Acrobatic! And exceedingly well known! Fabulous! Flying! Ferrucini brothers! That's us! My brother Alfredo! And my brother Bill! Sound good? Oh! It's very simple, really. See that cannon over there? All you have to do is get in the cannon and we'll shoot you out of it! Across the room! Quite safe, actually. So, what do you say? Okay, I'll do it. We'll pay you 478 pieces of eight. Have you got a helmet? Of course I have a helmet. What sort of idiot do you take me for? Well, let's have it. We want to be sure. That it's safe. Wouldn't want you hurt. No sorry. Sure. Ah, that will work as a helmet. Now we can do the trick. Step right over here, son. Now, put on your helmet. And get in the cannon. And we'll take care of the rest. Echo! Echo! It works! Oh, I'm so relieved. Hey! 
Are you okay? I'm Bobbin. Are you my mother? He's all right! Hooray! We are spared an embarrassing and a financially debilitating lawsuit. Here is your money, sir. Just the recompense for aiding us. The basic theory is fine. We just need to change the aim a bit. I'll try it next. No, I'll do it next. No, me! No, me! Slacker! Loser! Ruffian! Fu- Yeah. Well, we got money. It's kind of weird, though, that we got 478 pieces of eight and not 500. But it doesn't matter. Well, here is Melly Island, and, um, well, there are a few places we could go to, like this area, for instance. I'm not gonna do that now, though. Uh, instead, we're going back to, uh, spend some money. The first thing I will do... Actually, I don't know. Whoa, we're not gonna go in there. Ah, let's talk to this man. Why not? Excuse me, but do you have a cousin named Sven? Uh, no. What is that? Some sort of code? Of course it's a code, you idiot. Never mind. Good night. Uh... Excuse me, but do... Now oh, it's only you again. Well, he has maps. I just want a map. And that's exactly Shh. what we want. Pipe down, will you? That ugly sheriff might be around here. Now then, let's talk business. You want to buy a map to the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island? Only one in existence. Rare. Very rare. Only 100 pieces of eight. Ugh, oh, it's expensive. I'll take it. It'll make a swell gift. There you go. You've made a wise decision. Now get lost. All right. Let's have a look. I think I've been had. This is no map. It looks like... dancing lessons. Hmm. Do the monkey. Well... That is unfortunate. Oh, hello. Hey, nice rat. Do you like rats? Well... <laughs> yes, especially in a light wine sauce. Ah, ah, get away! <laughs> yeah, that's the, <laughs> that's the wrong answer. <laughs> I apologize for what I said about rats. They're very intelligent creatures. <laughs> More intelligent than him. Why, there's a story around these parts that a bunch of rats actually crewed a ship here from fabled Monkey Island. No, that's not right. It was actually a group of monkeys. That's amazing. But true. When they arrived, they sold the ship for a pretty penny. Only time I've seen anyone get the better of old Stan in a deal. <laughs> I thought it was rats. Do you guys know the sneaky-looking man on the opposite corner? Saw you buying a map from that fellow over there. Have you looked at it yet? <laughs> Perhaps you should consider an alternate source. Our maps are top quality, not like the bird-caged liners you get from that clown across the street. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> These are actually copies of the minutes of the last meeting of the Melee Island PTA. Can't even give them away. Uh. Ah! Want one? 
No, but I'll take one if you give me two pieces of eight. Okay, that's fair. Say, are you guys pirates? No, we're a wandering circus troop. But this rat scared away the elephant. Uh, shut up! <clears throat> of course we're pirates! You can't buy clothes like these off the rack. What do you want? What's in the keg? Rum. Jam. <laughs> jam. Uh, rum. Uh, rum and jam. It's an old pirate favorite. Everybody knows that. I'm really interested in this pirating thing. What do you want? How come you're on this street corner and not on a ship? Looting, pillaging, sacking, that sort of thing. Well, pirating hasn't been panning out so well for us. There are some unnaturally talented pirates in the area right now. Operating out of Monkey Island. So we've been pursuing alternate means of self-support. We're trying to start up a circus. It was working out well, until the rats scared off the elephant. Now you've depressed us. Go home. Sorry. Eh? Door. Eh, uh, yeah. That didn't work. Ye old rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle shop. Serving your rubber chicken with the pulley in the middle needs for over 50 years. Well, the door we want is this one. The other ones are just teleportation doors. He's pretty creepy. Poor chickens. Gee, I wonder what's in these baskets. Actually, I'm not that curious to find out what's inside. Probably poisonous snakes. What's this? No thanks. Something will probably jump out and bite me. Alright, this one. Maybe no one will miss just this one thing. Let's see, there's a jar of bat drippings, a box that says assorted scales, a shaker full of monkey flakes, and some cat knuckles. Cat knuckles? How barbaric! <laughs> yeah. Now this is the cup of a carpenter. <laughs> yeah, we found it, guys! Who no thanks. I'd rather not touch any of this creepy voodoo stuff. What may I help you with, son? So? My mind-reading skills tell me it is your future you are interested in. Are you certain this is something you really wish to know? Yes, tell me everything that's going to happen to me. I am getting a vision. I see you taking a voyage. A long voyage. I see you captaining a ship. Yeah! I see... What? See what? I see a giant monkey. Yikes! I see you inside the giant monkey. Oh, gross. Wait... It's all becoming clear. Your journey will have many parts. You will see things better left unseen. You will hear things better left unheard. You will learn things better left unlearned. What kind of things? I hate surprises. No. The time is not right to know. When you know your purpose, come see me. I will let you know then. Yikes! to say the least. But now, let's visit the shop.
Hello? Anybody in here? Hello? You know, bad things could happen to a person in a dark, deserted alley like this one. And at this time of night, nobody would be around to see it. Did you hear something back in here too? No. I'd better get your name. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, and I'm new in town. Listen, Peepwood. Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. Well, whatever your name is, listen. I'm the sheriff around here. Sheriff Fester Shinetop. Take it from me. This is a bad time to be visiting Melee Island. A very bad time. My advice to you is to find somewhere else to take your vacation. Somewhere safer. Boy, I feel much better knowing there's an officer of the law around. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, a circus! I love a circus! Yeah, it's been, well, so many years since I last went to a circus, actually. Employees only. Aww. Oh well. Now let's go to the shop. What? Ring bell for service. Okay. It never fails. I step away from the counter for two seconds and some idiot's already ringing that stupid bell. Sorry. What do you want? I think I just like to browse for now. Hey, this ain't no boutique. Don't take all day. Don't worry, I won't. I want this shovel. And of course, this sword. Could you hurry up? I was hoping to close early today. What do you want? About this sword. Yeah, what about it? I want it. Great. Best hundred pieces of eight you ever spent. What else do you want? About this shovel. Yeah, what about it? I want it. Great. Oh, it'll pay for itself, believe me. Yeah, you'll dig up 75 pieces of eight in no time. But hey, save some treasure for the rest of us, would you? <laughs> what else do you want? Now that I have this sword, who can I test it out on? Well, if you're looking for a good fight, we've got the best sword fighter in all the Caribbean right here on Melee Island. Of course, no one knows where her secret hideout is. Nobody except me. I'd have to go and ask her if it's okay to show you the way. Hmm. I guess I could hike all the way over there. Once. I'll be right back. And don't touch anything! Oh, I won't. Instead, we're going to follow him. Let's see. goes. Because as he said, uh, we need to defeat the Swordmaster. But the Swordmaster is uh, living somewhere hidden. There he is. Oh, let's follow him quickly. Let's pick up the flowers. And I will tell you why you need those in a minute.
Danger, open ravine. It's a striking yellow color. Yeah, we need those uh, flowers for a very special task. Something I will cover. I better just stay back here and eavesdrop. A bit later, actually. Hello again, Carla. I thought I told you to get lost. Actually, I'm here on uh, business. This kid, come into my store, see? Face it, you crusty old lech. You'd make any excuse just to come out here and bother me. Yeah, I guess so. Well, cut it out. I'm sick of it. Take a hike and don't come out here again. Someone might follow you, and then I'd become another Melee Island tourist attraction. Hey, it's your loss, baby. Yeah, right. Now scram. Hmm. Well, there's no point in uh, go and talking to her, so uh, let's leave. But hey, now we know where the Swordmaster is. And, um, you know, let's go back into the forest. Because this is where we will find the treasure. There sure are a lot of spelling errors. And that's not it. This is actually the map. So let's start with back, left, and right. Back, left, and right. Looks like an old abandoned campsite. And of course, I didn't know this uh, when I played it the first time. I just uh, thought it was in the forest somewhere, and I went in here and wow, I spent so much time. But luckily, we will save some time. Let's see, left, right, back. This is a very nice place, though. And the music is... Brilliant. Just a regular old stump. Okay. Now for the final three. Right, left, back. And... This is it! Hmm. Looks like a big plus sign. What could that possibly mean? The legendary lost treasure of Melee Island. This carefully reproduced piece of Melee Island history has delighted thousands of would-be pirates and their families for generations. Remember, there are other pirates on this island. So go easy on the treasure. Leave some for the next person. Yeah. Here lies treasure of such unimaginable wealth. Well, you'll just have to dig it up to believe it. Paid for by the Melee Island Chamber of Commerce. <laughs> Okay. Well, this shouldn't take too long. Hours pass. Hey, I think I hit something. Oh boy. It's a t-shirt. Not my size, but a nice one, nonetheless. Well, I guess I should put all this dirt back now. More hours pass. I found the treasure of Melee Island, and all I got was this stupid t-shirt. <laughs> well, the first task is done. And I th think we will go and uh, learn how to use a sword. I'm 
that will be the last thing we do in this video. Hello? Stop! You must pay a toll. Uh... Oh, please, can't I pass? Oh, boy, do you sound like a wimp. I don't like wimps. You can't pass until you pay the toll. How much is the toll? Well, what have you got? A rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. I want something that'll attract attention, but have no real importance. Uh... My old moss-covered three-handled family credenza? Don't be silly. You have three chances to give me what I want. Then I eat ya. None shall pass. None okay. shall pass. <laughs> Let's just give him what he wants. None shall pass. Ah, a red herring. Pass. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's move on. Captain Smirk's Big Body Pirate Gym. Prices. Sword training, 30 pieces of weight. Cannon firing, 160 pieces of weight. Balls extra. Grappling hook, 130 pieces of weight. Hook extra. I think I'll knock. It'd only be polite. What do you want, you wimpy little spineless maggot? Could you train me to be better than the Swordmaster? Better than the Swordmaster? You? <laughs> you could never be half the sword fighter Carly is. Even with hours of hard work and sweat and blood. I remember fighting side by side with Carla at Port Royal. The local constabulary had us cornered. It looked like we were done for, but then she said, But I digress. You just don't have what it takes. You know, you really should quit smoking. What I really should do is make you eat this stogie. Oops. <laughs> All right. Let's do this properly. What do you want? I do so have what it takes. You do not. I do so. You do not. I do so. Oh, I like your spirit. I'll do what I can. Of course, it'll cost you. What do you got? Well, I've got 30 pieces of eight. Say no more, say no more. Let's see your sword. Okay, check it out. Yes. This is a nice one. Let's get to it. Okay, you maggot. Why don't you whip that sword out and let's see what you can do with it. Boy, you fight like a dairy farmer. I usually don't waste my time with vermin like yourself. But seeing as this LeChuck thing has put a cramp on business, I got no choice. I need the money. Yes. I can see this is going to take some special measures. Just want you to know, I don't do this with everyone. It's only because I feel that special student-mentor pieces of eight bonding that I'm going to these lengths. I'm going to put you up against the machine. Machine? Is this going to hurt? Yikes. Come at me. Don't be afraid, you won't hurt me. Distance! Distance! Use your forte against the foible! Use your forte against the foible! Use your forte against the foible! Advance, thrust, recover, parry, repose! Hours later. You're starting to get the hang of it. More hours later. 
Not bad. You've got good form. Now I'm gonna let you in on the true secret of sword fighting. Sword fighting is kind of like making love. It's not always what you do, but what you say. Any fool pirate can swing a sharp piece of metal around and hope to cut something. But the pros, they know just when to cut their opponent with an insult. One that catches them off guard. You see, kid, your wit's gotta be twice as sharp as your sword. Let's try a couple of insults out, shall we? Okay, imagine this. We're fighting up a storm. Just like Carla and I were doing at Port Royal. There's a sudden break in the fighting and I say to you, you fight like a dairy farmer. You respond with? Um. You must be thinking of someone else. I am not a farmer. I can see we've got a lot of work to do here. You should have responded with something like, how appropriate. You fight like a cow. You see, it's razor-sharp wit like that that wins fights. Let's try another. Imagine this. You're trapped up against a wall. My sword just slashed two cuts into your face. I say, soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. You respond with? So's your mother. I can see we're in deep trouble here. Ah, oh. A correct response to Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab would have been something like First, you better stop waving it around like a feather duster. See? Razor sharp. Now, I suggest you go out there and learn some insults. I can't help but feel like I've been ripped off. I'm sure you're feeling something similar. Well, uh, mm, can I agree? But now it is time f to learn the insults. But that is something I'm going to do off screen, at least for the most part, since uh, it just basically involves uh, meeting pirates, fighting them, and learning insults. So, I'm going to end this video here, but when we come back I will um, do some pirate fighting insult learning and uh, hopefully we will able we'll be able to beat the Swordmaster. See you guys then!